Welcome to the Citizen Channel on the Citizen Channel today. We're going to have our regular features, the match day program. Watch what well, this is the away program version, not the home version. So please check out some of my home things where we have a look at the city programs themselves. But uh, today we're going to the our competitors and uh, sort of rank these and get give views on them, etc. And today we're going to look at this one. Yeah, we're going to look at uh, Aston Villa versus City. On the first of December, twenty twenty one. Yeah, not not massive, not massive. Eighty four pages, which seems to be tend to be the, the theme of all these programs these days for, for most of the clubs. Um, yeah, at the moment we got uh, we've got Watford ahead, haven't we? Yeah, we did these a bit out of order. My apologies. I didn't get my Aston Villa one till after the Watford program. So, and sometimes when I go to these games, I, 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 I never find out where they're selling the programs. But uh, in this case, so please forgive me. So we've got Watford. Although we play Watford after this Aston Villa game, Watford currently sitting top of the league. So let's see if uh, Aston Villa can compete, and they're, they're followed by Leicester, of course, uh, holding up the league at the moment. A uh, Brighton and Hull Albion. Please uh, give us any thumbs up. That'd be great guys and uh, press your notifications and all these little vlogs are coming out so that's uh, 84 pages in this uh, 21 pages of adverts which is quite high really uh, there's some about 25% of the program if my maths is correct it probably is uh, it does go up to about 27-28% with some programs but that is quite high for a, a adverts and promotional stuff obviously shirt sales stuff all that sort of thing Three pound fifty, which as I said, there's only there's only one. I think it was a Leicester program was three pound. Everything's coming out at three pound fifty at least at the moment. I don't think there's any been more expensive than that. Yeah, the flick through. I had I had a quick flick through, and it's okay. It's an okay feel. It's obviously the binder, which you know I don't particularly like, but it didn't look great, guys. Uh, just having a quick flick through. And I think uh, if I remember rightly, when we did this uh, a couple of years ago before COVID, I thought Aston Villa was one of the, one of the better programs. So, but anyway, it can always be a bit misleading the flick through. So I had a flick through. It didn't, didn't look great. Let's have a look at what's in it. Obviously, we've got Mr. Gerard doing his usual stuff, as you'd expect, nothing, nothing exciting. And the feature interview uh, is with, uh, yeah, this is his name. I thought I thought this was just what they were calling him, Marvellous Nakamba, but <laughs> that's his real name. I had to double check because I thought Marvellous Nakamba. It's a bit, a bit uh, cocky, isn't it, calling yourself Marvellous? But, hey, there you go, great name. Uh, just Pretty much a basic question and answer, though. It wasn't too in-depth, to be honest. I was a bit disappointed. There's a nice piece, of course, obviously, at City have done their own, haven't they? And other clubs are doing their own, this rain, Rainbow Laces initiative with a little Q&A on how the fans, how the clubs got involved, how the fans can get involved and play their part, stuff like that. So that's excellent. Some nice little images, about four or five pages dotted about, about winter training, all wrapped up for winter, which we've seen, obviously, at our place at the CFA. But... Uh, uh, obviously, the, the Villa players all wrapped up for, for winter. Uh, eight pages initially on City. There's bits and pieces as well, but uh, uh, there's a trip through time which looks at sort of key dates. So not, not every key date. I mean, they wouldn't have enough magazine, would they, with our history? But, uh, yeah, usual usual pen pictures. But the key dates is interesting. Yeah, it, they take like 1889, where City were actually the first team to actually gain automatic promotion by winning the second division. So that was back in 1889. So little things like that. Uh, quite just good, good. Yeah, I like it. I say not not too much of it, but they don't don't want to get carried away, do they? Uh, yeah. So uh, opposition snapshot that carries on from this as the fifty six FA Cup winning team lifting, of course, the, the FA Cup because we won it. There you go. And uh, yeah, stat zone on City this season. And on players from the past, so you obviously appear and who's made the most appearances, uh, even without looking. Obviously, Mr. Alan Oakes, who made who scored the most goals. Uh, of course, that was uh, uh, Sergio, of course, Sergio, Sergio, and managers. Yeah, and uh, obviously, the length of time managers have been at the club stuff. Well, not necessarily the most successful managers. How long they've been there? So there you go. So that was okay. That was again a bit of interest. Uh, there's some good pay about five pages of kids stuff, uh, or place for your autographs and spot the difference and all this sort of thing which I thought was quite good, I, I did like that they have the usual academy and women's stuff of course, and you know me and my history I do like my history, they've got the Villa Vault which looks at uh, things in time looks at uh, a player Gordon Cowens I remember him uh, for Villa and it looks looking at the 71-72 season so obviously they're taking uh, the period and actually put equating it to that 71-72 season where they actually uh, lifted the third division title I think it was at the time there you go 
low depth save they they went to, eh? But uh, there you go. And some players, of course, from that season as well, players and programs. So little images of programs and what's in the programs from the 1971-72 season. So that sort of things is always always a winner for me. I did I did like that element of it. Uh, numbers game just looks at numbers, uh, including some that link City and Villa, but obviously not necessarily City and Villa, just, just numbers about other things. Uh, of course, uh, one example was 1900. Yeah, so the 1900 was the only other time uh, Villa played City on this exact day in history. So obviously on the first of all, we never played Villa at any other time, which not unusual. I think it does happen, but it is quite rare. Uh, and obviously that was a 7-1 Villa win, so it didn't sort of end up end up that sort of score line this time did it so there you go uh the fan features nice some nice images uh got a, a memorial thing there as well there nice i think there's four or five pages on the fans with, with some nice images of the fans young young and old of course uh rewind image just a simple image really of saunders and atkinson it was a game back in 1993 at Fuller Park where uh, the beatles 3-1 and obviously, I think they were going for the title then, weren't they? And we, we did actually lead 1-0, but obviously it's a, an image of Saunders and Atkinson celebrating the equaliser. Uh, the final item following the season stats, of course, is Tails, Tails Talk. So I had to have a quick look. I'm not too sure who he, I have heard of him, I think, but uh, obviously he's a, he's a Villa legend or, you know, no, no disrespect, Tails Talk. It's uh, Ian Saylor, who's sort of mostly just, just a page chatting about Stephen Gerrard. Uh, in that and that, that was that was fine. His impressions, etc., and the squads on the back page, and uh, yeah, a bit tiny print on a on a sort of darkish background. So it was quite quite. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at it now, and it's I can't even see it with these glasses. I mean, I can see it without, but you have to get really close. So not the greatest, and the print is a little bit small throughout, unfortunately. But uh, there you go. Though that's a Villa program. Yeah, a little a little. You may you may have sensed. I don't know, but a little disappointing. There's a couple of okay bits. The kids stuff was fine. Some okay history stuff. I did like the 71, 72. City do a similar thing uh, with ours sometimes where we, we look at a, a specific period in and around the game that's playing and what was happening in a, in a season that was uh, had, had sort of its own historical importance and that what's put, what Villa have done with this. It doesn't matter if it's a third division title. It's still a title. It's still something back in history of great interest to them, of course. Uh, yeah, nicely laid out. It's okay, plain, nothing, nothing exciting. As I say, it is a little small, and it is a little small on content, unfortunately, but uh, not really. As I say, there's probably, for me, probably 10, 10 minutes read of stuff I was interested in, but apart from that, so not the greatest, I'll be honest with you, uh, this Villa programme. So sorry, Bill, I'm going to put you to the bottom of the pile. Uh, let's hope, uh, well, hope for your sake. I'm not bothered either way, to be honest with you. I'll, I'll state that now. Not not because I dislike Villa as such, uh, just because I, I think that, um, obviously, from a fan's point of view, I should have really cared about them because, obviously, uh, a lot of their fans are, are constantly sniper us. So, for your sake, for the Villa fans' sake, I hope uh, you don't do this. But, of course, I'm going to be uh, sending this to the bottom of the league. So, it's going to be bottom of this little league table. I'm sorry, Villa, but that's uh, that's how it is. But well, let's, let's hope you shape up a little bit better in the 21-22 season. But, yes, yeah, so you're going you're going underneath Brighton. I'll give you the same. I'm not giving anyone less than a 6 out of 10. So, I am putting Brighton on 6 out of 10 and Aston Villa on 6 out of 10. But I will move them to the bottom of the table. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think. If you get these, uh, say, uh, I got this through a, an auction site. I couldn't, I, I didn't see it in the Villa shop. It may now be in the Villa shop. So please, please have a check of that anyway, if you get if you get a possibility. If you do collect programmes and you guys who are regulars looking at it, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your your thoughts. And if you've got the Villa programme, what, what you thought of it. Did you spend more than 10 minutes reading it like I did? Just let us know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the next one should be, if if I get one, I say I can't get to the ground, unfortunately, it would be uh, Newcastle, Newcastle United. And then the next away one after that, I think, uh, is Brentford again. I've not been able to get a ticket, so I'll have to try and get one elsewhere. And finally, yes, finally, on New Year's Day, I will have the Arsenal programme. I will be there, so hopefully I'll find it. <laughs> because I say, even when I get to these games, sometimes I can't find, so, you know, sometimes you're in a bit of a rush and you can't find the place. And if you don't sell them inside the ground, which some grounds don't, you, you struggle to buy one. So it is a bit of a pain, especially when you, you've actually gone to the game. But anyway. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. 
to me here again on the Citizen Channel. Please have a look at my film and TV channel if you get a chance. I try and inform and entertain on there with movie reviews, TV drama reviews, information, vlogs, what's out to buy, what's on at the cinema, etc., etc. Even the odd quiz. I'll have to do another quiz. I've not done one for a while on, on the film, film and TV channel. But anyway, whether it's on there or back here on the Citizen Channel, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please, stay safe, please. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.